Hello and welcome to marketing91.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on umbrella brand. Before we proceed any further, please do note that we publish three marketing videos daily on YouTube. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's start with the definition of an umbrella brand. The system of marketing and selling various linked products under one single brand name is called umbrella branding. Family branding, another name for umbrella branding, builds up the brand equity of one sole brand. It groups various related products under one sole brand name to give consistency to the product line. Hence, umbrella branding magnifies the marketability of the product line and makes it easily distinguishable. What is umbrella branding? Marketeers may tend to find umbrella branding a bit difficult since every brand needs to be expertly coordinated. But the proper implementation of umbrella branding can lead to huge benefits. Individual brands slowly evolve into umbrella brands. Umbrella's branding's impact is influenced by the following factors. The level of commonness that exists under the corporate umbrella and a company's brand equity that is the brand's recognition in the market. Moving on to umbrella brand advantages. First, one product's success benefits all other products. One product's accomplishments will benefit all other products under the umbrella brand since they are all interlinked. Next, preceding reputation. Umbrella brands are already recognized in the market and their quality can already be vouched for and is known by consumers. Next, easy launches. New launches can be easier to execute under umbrella brands and are guaranteed to obtain the preceding marketing campaign's benefits. Next, cost-effective entry. It can be cost-effective to enter products in the market under umbrella brands. And finally, family branding. Instead of using up their energy and resources on campaigns for various individual products, companies can focus on marketing one brand that is known as the family brand or the umbrella brand. Next, umbrella brand disadvantages. First, quality varies. Irrespective of the scale of the company, maintaining quality consistency of every product is impossible. Hence, the quality of products fluctuates. Next. Some products get neglected. While focusing on a particular product, other products may tend to be neglected by the companies. Next, bad reputation of one product affects another products. An inferior reputation of any one product can be a disadvantage for the umbrella brand since it affects the other products under the brand. This decreases the sale of products under the brand. Now moving on to umbrella brand examples. First, the corporate brand in this case is Procter & Gamble. And Procter & Gamble has several umbrella brands under it. An indicative list includes first, Pantene, which is a brand of hair care products including shampoo, dry shampoos, conditioners, moistures, hairstyling products and others. Next, Oral-B, brand of oral hygiene products such as toothbrushes, toothpaste, dental floss and mouthwashes. Next, Gillette, brand of men's safety razors and other personal care products such as shaving gels, foams, skin care, deodorants and shower gels. And finally, Wix. Brand of over-the-counter medication including medication for cold and flu, cold relief, cough relief, sinus relief and occasional sleeplessness. PNG has created the individual brands for different product lines and then implement umbrella branding with those brands in order to control profitable market sections. The next example of Unilever which is a corporate brand and Unilever just like PNG has many umbrella brands under it with an indicative list, one being Axe which is a brand of male grooming products such as deodorants, shower gels, body wash, shampoos, conditioners and hairstylers. Next, Dove, brand of personal care products for male and female such as anti perspirants as in deodorants, body washes, lotions, facial and hair care products. And the other blockbuster umbrella brand, Lux, which is a brand manufacturing a range of personal hygiene products including shower gels, shampoos, conditioners, beauty soaps, perfumes and bath additives. Moving on to our next example of Volkswagen. Volkswagen is a corporate brand and some umbrella brands owned by Volkswagen include Audi, Skoda, Volkswagen, Porsche, Lamborghini and Ducati. Again an indicative list. And the final example of Mondelez International which is a corporate brand and some umbrella brands owned by Mondelez include Cadbury which is an umbrella brand with many sub products and sub brands under it. One of them being Dairy Milk. The other umbrella brand Oreo. Next is Tang and the various products under it. And finally, the chocolate brand Toblerone. This is again an indicative list for Mondelez as well. So that's it folks. This brings an end to the topic on Umbrella brand. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. If you've liked the video, do subscribe to our channel where you'll witness three new videos daily. Additionally, if you want to view these videos in an organized manner, you can visit freecourses.net where all our videos are arranged in the form of courses. Thank you and see you in the next video.